Um, five more minutes. I was wondering when you'd be awake. You can blame Carol for that. She sleeps for like half a day. Ah, <sighs> totally worth it. Well, anyway, I got a call from that big panda guy I told you about. He's gonna help us. When is he coming? Actually, we have to go meet him. He'll be waiting for us north of here. Perfect. I fixed my radar last night so we can use it to find the meeting point. Great! Ready, girls? Aye, aye, Captain. To adventure! According to the radar, we seem to be at the right location. Um, I think it's a little off. This way! She's got a good nose. I'll say. Allow me to properly introduce myself. I am General Gong of Shang Tu. It's an honor, General. The Royal Magister has a proposal. We'd like you to help us get the stone back. It's in the greedy little hands of Man Zhao in our neighbor city, Shang Mu. Why do you need our help? Don't you have soldiers and spies and stuff? We want to try and resolve this thing peacefully if we can, so we're sending a neutral party to negotiate. Given the uh, current state of affairs in Shui Gong, they're out of the picture. So you need us to fly to Shang Mu and convince Zhao to give the stone back? Precisely. Let's give it a shot. Right. I assume we'll be taking one of these planes. Uh-huh. You do know how to fly it. Of course I do. <laughs> Good. When you get there, head straight for the city hall. Y yes sir. Quack. Hope you're not afraid of heights. I'll be okay. You just had to follow me here, didn't you? How did you know we were coming? You seemed pretty determined to get that stone back. So you're the thief Lilac was talking about. I've been called worse. Where is it? I've already finished the job. It's time for my brother to play his hand. Your brother? Prince Dale of Shuigon. Really? When he finds the man who murdered our father, there will be no mercy for the kingdom responsible. We know who's responsible. Nice try. Will you just hold on a minute and let us explain? What, so you can throw me off again with your lies? Thanks, but I've had enough. Everyone, split up! We'll cut him off with a huge shopping mall over there! Okay! Welcome to the lovely kingdom of Shangmu, which is a uh, giant metropolitan area which explains why they actually need all that power um, and uh, yeah I do hope that you're still with me because those uh, those cutscenes my goodness they uh, I don't want to go there those cutscenes were uh, quite long weren't they <laughs> I think you will understand now what I meant by uh, those cutscenes taking ouch the bane of everyone traffic lights uh, like the cutscenes can take the pacing out of the game a bit and that's unfortunate um, But let me make clear that I do actually enjoy the cutscenes in and of themselves I just don't think it's a perfect match uh, with a game style like this You know, it's a fast-paced platformer game. It's not really a good mix with 10 minutes of cutscenes but still, I really like the uh, the voice acting in the game. I think it's lovely. It, it fits really well with uh, with uh, um, uh, with the style of the game. But yeah, we are now in uh, Shangmu, and this is uh, governed by this dude over here, who is quite full of himself, Meiji Zhao. So this place is full with statues and uh, um, uh, propaganda posters for him uh, for his re-election, of course, because politicians uh, got a politician, right? And uh, yeah, these benches. Yeah, the girls can actually sit on them. <laughs> I love the, the, the little details like that that uh, developers put into this game. Uh, this, this level is really fun. It's uh, quite full of a lot of different 
little mechanics to play around with and it's just uh, it's just a lovely level here and also going from this point onwards the bosses will really ramp up in, uh, in in quality as well for the most part uh, and speaking of one this is not one this dude he can't do anything to us yeah you, you fire your laser all you want dude but uh, we're invulnerable but we'll be seeing uh, him later uh, but yeah, the, the, the bosses will get uh, much more involved and uh, bigger in scope and it's just really fun. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's not actually get hit by the traffic lights again. So yeah, this is one of the uh, cool levels as well. And uh, we get to explore more of it. But uh, there's this big dude over here. If you want to defeat him, he shoots out a little returning projectile but uh, there is a weak spot as you saw so if you hit that a couple of times it'll go down very easy but uh, my advice is to just mm, actually ignore these dudes altogether because there is no real point in uh, in killing them because you can just skip them as easy um, but anyway let's head uh, let's give it over to Carol who can help us traverse the second part of this uh, cool little stage here uh, first of all, we have a fire shield, and fire shields happen to protect you against fire works. <laughs> and fire shields also have uh, provide contact damage to enemies, so it's uh, quite a, fun, a bit of an offensive shield. Quite nice. And uh, yeah, the fire does tend to be easier to recognize as a damage type. Uh, something else that I forgot about this shield type, the wood shield, that I actually noticed as I was uh, editing the previous um, uh, video. And yeah, Carol can also sit on the benches, of course. <laughs> um, but this shield type actually has another benefit in um, these blue gems. Uh, because if you collect, I think, 20, and that should... Yeah, there we go. You actually get a free life petal, so this uh, this shield really helps you um, protect yourself more from uh, well death, I guess. It just keeps you healthier for uh, for longer. Uh, you may also notice here that uh, I actually um, well, first of all, let me show of this. If you look at that animation, I love that this little touches to detail. Um, where you cling on the, the, the ladder. But yeah, as you notice, I, uh, I have a bit less lives. Uh, and that's because I screwed up the recording. So I had to do this again in the uh, time attack mode. Anyway. It's time for Lilac to uh, pull her weight. Well, she's waiting here in the third area. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is just the start of the third area. Um, and there's salt machines here. Look at that. Does remind me of a certain something. Can't quite put my finger on it. <laughs> uh, these slot machines they have small prices. There's no uh, evil Breven icon or anything like that, so they're not really that important. But uh, whoa, that was a bit wonky. Uh, but yeah, they, uh, they you know they're they're a cool another uh, cool little mechanic here. Um, but yeah. Let's, uh, let's get Lilac in gear here, because it is Team Lilac after all. And, uh, oh boy. <laughs> the UFO dude is back again. And now we don't have a shield, so he's actually a bit of a threat, I suppose. And uh, it kind of makes you wonder, right? Uh, you've got Torek, who is a commander. So I, I would assume that he's an adult, but he's perfectly fine... In the end, I mean, it took some convincing, but uh, he's, he's fine putting the kids at risk here. Uh, here's a bit of a change, because as uh, Carol and also Mila, although Mila will go through the top part here, we you actually have to go down, but Lilac has an exclusive fight here. Hold it right there, you sparkly twit! What did you call me? You think you can just walk into this conflict, don't you? Well, I have news for you. This isn't your fight! It was the moment you brought it to our home world! So, the Duckman couldn't keep his mouth shut. Well, I hope he realizes that he just cost you your life! You'll have to take it first, Snake Man! As we uh, get to uh, 
deal with Serpentine personally here, which is uh, quite a fun little rival kind of battle. I really like this uh, this fight. Oh, let's not deal with that. Ouch. It's just uh, it's just a lot of fun. It's cool. And not too difficult, but uh, yeah, you don't want this to happen. I've had enough of your kung fu tricks. Prepare for annihilation. Oh boy. This is automatic, by the way. You had it coming, Snake Man. He sure did. Pretty cool stuff, uh, and, and and what I like is if you come up here with Carol and Mila, you will come up here uh, somewhere, and you do see this crash ship. Like uh, it's pretty clear what went down here, but uh, for some reason only Lila gets to fight him here. Anyway, let's uh, head into the mall. And we've reached our destination, the shopping mall, which we will now explore with Mila again. Um, did you, by the way, notice how the game handled that little uh, encounter? How it kind of told a story without needing a uh, a cutscene. It was very well integrated, and uh, yeah, you can actually go into the bathroom. <laughs> Again, love those little uh, touches. Uh, but yeah, that 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 way where uh, like the serpentine encounter, it, it it just it feels so natural and it flows so well, and it really uh, you get some comedy in there, you got some uh, talking in there, and it just works. You get a lot of character from everyone involved, and uh, that works much better for this type of game uh, than the long drawn out uh, cutscenes with uh, a lot of things that are inconsequential like um, talking about cooties <laughs> uh, also girls can dance yeah <laughs> again lovely details I also really love how they change up the uh, environment like quite considerably even though it's uh, still the same level this is so much different from the uh, other part of the level and uh, it keeps on introducing new little things to play around with. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. These guys are not. They can be a bit a uh, bit of a nasty thing. And uh, this this looks very impractical. <laughs> uh, also, do rest assured, like the uh, the scope of uh, how cute. Uh, the scope of like the uh, cutscenes, like we won't have any more slumber parties. Like it won't get ass drawn out again but uh, and again I don't actually mind it. it it's just not a great fit for this uh, uh, type of game and it's actually kind of funny because um, well I'll skip that for the for the next part anyway let's uh, you can also go into the men's bathroom which of course the men don't like <laughs> they kick you out <laughs> kind of cool um, but yeah what was I trying to say before um, yeah, like it's it's kind of strange. Like in the uh, in the cutscene about Cooties, it's a exclusive cutscene for Mila. And um, actually, let me show you this. There's a secret um, uh, notation here. Let me see if I can actually pull it off. But yeah, it's actually it only displays there. Um, in Mila's story, even though Carol is the one who uh, who is talking about the cooties, but yeah, um, just again to make uh, Mila extra cute, I guess. Uh, okay, I, I I think I shouldn't have gotten that, but uh, I did anyway. I got credit anyway. Let's uh, give it over to. Carol for the final stretch of this uh, awesome level and of course that also means that she again has the will have the privilege to deal with the final boss it would be nice if I actually could get there uh, and that is again a, a bit of a thematical choice from uh, from me uh, but we'll see uh, we'll see uh, why let's not get too far ahead of ourselves 
Uh, there was the piano thing again because over here there is another piano and uh, this uh, it's nice to demonstrate here uh, one of Carol's main weaknesses and yeah Carol's got grooves as well uh, but yeah unlike the other two Carol does not have as much uh, way to deal with airborne enemies so for example she can't really reach the eighth note here uh, that's all she can uh, really muster now it's possible with the bike but you won't uh, always have the bike as an option so yeah especially uh, bosses or enemies that uh, um, that require some some air time uh, yeah Carol will have a bit harder time with those uh, but uh, that won't be a problem with this boss uh, so shouldn't be too much a problem this is a uh, metal shield I don't think we've come across that one yet Metal shields protect you against spikes, which is very handy, uh, um, and it also, of course, protects you against a certain type of attack, although I don't know which one. And these patches are also kind of interesting. They are kind of rare in the game, and the game never really makes it very clear, uh, but uh, Mila can actually dig up in these uh, dig, dig stuff up from these patches of uh, dirt, and sometimes there's... Uh, power-ups in there, especially when you're close to a boss fight, there tends to be a shield under there, um, which can be handy in a pinch. Anyway, uh, over here we have a mini boss, and this dude, um, if you're not playing the third bit as lilac as we did, and who we'll face serpentine, you will actually face this guy in a arena below that uh, area as uh, either Carol or Mila. I'm not really sure why they chose to do that, because uh, both of them are perfectly uh, able to kick Serpentine's ass. Do, s do snakes actually have asses? Snakes got a poop, right? Anyway, <laughs> I digress. Um, this is also the area I was talking about in the previous video, uh, where I got myself stuck, because of this metal shield, I was, uh, during my test play, I was playing as Mila here, and this dude actually I allowed him to dig a hole straight down to the spikes and um, I was safe from the spikes the dude died but Mila's flutter wasn't strong enough to actually get her out there so that's unfortunate well hello look who's back here Mr. Serpentine uh, this is why I figured you know the bike makes most sense here because it's a high uh, high speed chase here uh, when you're playing as uh, lilac you will actually uh, run infinitely and also if you get hit more than three times um, let me just demonstrate that he says like he's going to do it on purpose <laughs> um, but you will never lose the bike here as Carol if you play as Mila, the boss fight is actually quite different because you will actually fly in the plane where she is now with Torque at the helm. And right now she is actually um, uh, at giving you an assist with some healing items, which is really a cool touch, like especially with also Lilac helping in here, eating up all the hits. Uh, I hate this attack. It's so hard to dodge. I think you can also dodge it from below, but I, I never managed to do that. Uh, but yes, Mila, you will have to hit him with her blocks or the uh, shield burst. And it's it's um, it, 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 it's just very different. I guess he'll get pissed now. Um, and you cannot actually deflect his shots back. You can block them, but not deflect them. If the red part shows, that is the weak spot, so that does a bit more damage, I suppose. Uh, something else that I really like about Serpentine as a character is that he has like little... Um, he, will, he will give the girls different names depending on who you play as. Like uh, he will call... I'm not, I don't think he did it this time, or not yet at least, but he tends to call uh, Carol a furball and uh, Lilac he will call a bug-eyed freak. I mean, this is just this is really fun. Again, this game is just full of little touches to detail that just make it uh, really stand out. Anyway, Serpentine has been dealt with once more.
Hope you enjoyed this one. Enjoy the next slew of uh, cutscenes, and until next time, take care. The muzzle. Wow, we're really strong as a team. That was totally awesome. Did you see that? You were like, take that, and I was like, pow, pow. Yeah, we kicked some serious tail back there. Not so fast, Commander. <laughs> if you're searching for the stone, you might want to look up. Enjoy your victory! Stop! Stop! We gotta go after them. Those airships would ghost us from a mile away. Remember what happened to me in the valley? There has to be a way. What about Mayor Zhao? It's gone! My one chance for re-election is gone! You! Over there! He's royalty? You have to bow! Oh! Very good. <clears throat> Rise. Were you the ones who disposed of this wretched mechanical beast? You bet we are. Glorious! As a token of my appreciation, I offer each of you free Rain Over Zhao Shopping Paradise! Uh, with this coupon! For 5% off selected brands! Aw, oh, what the heck? Why don't I just invite you over to dinner? My treat! You mean... a royal feast? I am pretty hungry. What about the stone? That scoundrel prince took it from me! I won't even be able to chase him until my ships are repaired! Well, Mayor Zhao, we would be honored to be your guest this evening. Follow me, then. I shall drown your sorrows in delicious chow mein. Don't worry about taking turns. I'm sure you must be hungry. So have at it! Sushi! Me too! <laughs> <laughs> so, what's that giant head on the wall over there? That's the pride of my collection. An ancient statue modeled after the dragons of the before time. What's special about them compared to, you know, someone like Lilac? What's special? Ha! Did you come from another planet or something? <clears throat> Sorry. Long ago, a magnificent creature soared across Avalis in a ball of fire. When it landed, our ancestors were so captivated by its power and beauty that they built three kingdoms in its honor. Shangmu, Shangtu, and Shui Gan? Bingo! And when the cities were built, the dragon transformed into the legendary kingdom stone we know and love today. The same stone that was heartlessly yanked away from me. You took it first. Carol! Manners! Sorry. Why did you take it? Why now? Shang Mu is on the brink of an energy crisis. With the stone in our hands, we could have solved it overnight. Well, that worked out well. I don't think this energy crisis of yours is an accident. I think it's deliberate, and I think we know who is responsible. I've heard them a thousand times from a thousand self-righteous warriors. Unless you have something useful to say, the only thing that matters to me is how quickly I can cast you aside. I really have a lot of work to do. <coughs> You'll fail. Men like you always fail. Interesting theory. Hello, sir. Have you beheaded the intruders yet? What is it? There is an incoming transmission from General Serpentine. The full moon is out! <laughs> Not a cloud in the sky! Don't relax just yet. Upload the scans and get back here immediately. Of course, my lord! 
Contact the crash site and tell them to refit our warp drive. I want the artifact to fit like a glove. As you wish, sir. We're getting off this rock. 